green cans. Very festive. St. Patty's Day is on the rise. What could have been? All right, so today's video is very basic. Knocking over my coffee camp system. But something I really wanted to talk to you guys about, and that is we posted this week on our Facebook group, if you could make changes to the Ohio deer hunting rules, what would they be? And we got a couple hundred comments in a rather 24 hour period. So I just kind of combed through them and looked for trends. And I would be curious your guys' thoughts, opinions on this. Looking at it, number one, the number one comment or theme of comment was baiting in Ohio. And we are a bait state, public land, private land, year round, don't matter. And I think I saw several comments in there about taking it out. And what would that do for the uh, Ohio deer hunters across the, uh, the state? One, some guys would get a hard realization they're not very good as deer hunters, that's for sure. Two, I think some interesting dynamic would go on with small pieces of land. Because right now you can buy or lease a 5, 7, 10 acre chunk and have good deer hunting on it. Because you can literally force a food source, force movement... And I think all those chunks of land may not be as valuable if you did, could not have some sort of concentrated corn pile. Yes, you could still do food plots and some of that, but it's a doing that requires work, time, and effort. And we know that is uh, resources that the guy who dumps a pile of corn may not utilize to make his deer hunting better. He may not be able to manipulate ground. Some other things I think with that, um, you're somewhat forced in Ohio if you want to have good hunting to bait on some pieces depending on the neighborhood and how it shakes out. Number two on the list was cell cams. And uh, a lot of people know how I feel about cell cams. I do think you should have to go to the deer woods to learn about deer. I think that's a pretty uh, fair chase aspect to the thought. And you know, the ability to be everywhere at once is that fair chase. One thing I think it, that would be good because I think cell cams give guys the ability to, like I said, actively scout ground they don't have access to because they can't get there, put boots on the ground. You can't be everywhere at once without cell cams. I'm sorry. You just can't. Or drones flying over those properties. And I think looking at the future of the sport, the cell cam prices are only dropping. It's going to be he with the most cell cams is going to lock up more ground, right? He's going to buy a second farm. He's going to get a second or third lease. He's going to scatter five or 10 cams in the public as well. And so I think looking at the future of the sport, you want to be like, hmm, I don't, I don't necessarily want the woods to turn to a bunch of uh, security cameras. I don't necessarily want to limit other hunters in access because that's very much happening. In fact, my outfitting buddy literally fired his part-time help, bought an additional 50 acres on the road, despite placed you know the the two hunters that were hunting that 50 acre chunk because he could use cell cams to monitor that right he didn't have to spend the time actively scouting it to know what was there the savings of firing his part-time help allowed him to gobble up more ground right the third item on the list was limiting crossbows in some manner now a lot of guys said no crossbows during archery season some guys said take them all out together when in doubt look at iowa I don't know if I have a perfect solution. I like giving crossbows some sort of season, right? Give the guy that maybe is part-time into the sport some ability to chase deer in October, maybe not November. I just, maybe you divide the, you know, you have a gun season of X days, you have an archery season of this day's crossbow guys, somewhere in the middle. That, that, that would be a possible solution. And another thing is crossbow guys are also in that game of land gobbling. Maybe that crossbow guy now buys a farm, right? Because he can hunt three months a year versus if he was just a gun hunter, he can't see the justification in buying ground for a week of deer hunting. But you give him a crossbow now, he's got a couple weeks to do it. I think ground would prices might come down if you limited some crossbows, limited some cell cams. That could be good for somebody looking for ground. Uh, fourth on the list, and I think this is something the DNR is doing a little better on because we've raised rates recently, but out-of-state tag management, whether that be a draw system, increased rates, some sort of ability to better manage the out-of-state deer tags. Newsflash, Ohio, we are the first big buck state to the east, right? The high-density populations uh, of the east come here. They come here from the south. We are that first state. We are the, the Colorado of elk, where, where everyone goes to, to deer hunt that, that is from out-of-state. So, I would put some sort of uh, higher price for sure, right? Like the demand is clearly there if you're running a business and wanting more money, like demand, right? And I love what the DNR does with its capital from its boat launches to 
ramps to stocking ponds to archery ranges at the metro parks like that is such good money well spent and and like you can see it i would probably go to maybe a a, a draw system right because i think you take care of your resident hunters first and and, and come up with maybe a point system right uh i wouldn't be too mad at that I, you know, in, in all honesty, if I was somewhat of a big buck state, you look at Iowa as the number one demand state to go bow hunt. There's a lot of similar habitat and genetics in other bow hunting states. Why would you not mirror that? Um, maybe they should look at that. Um, those are just a few thoughts. Uh, again, hot button topics. I get it. We are allowed to disagree, right? You can like a different sports team than I can. And that's that. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you could change one thing for Ohio's deer hunting type laws, what would it be?